All right, welcome back. My name is Emmanuel, and uh, I'm working with Francisco Burgess. So uh, what we were talking about before we left was, um, so we had generated a model, Eclipse, and I'll go ahead and open up Eclipse. We created a configuration to generate models. We were able to generate uh, three models for us. Um, what you want to be able to do is you want to be able to, uh, every model extends a PL class. So it provides various hooks or methods that uh, you can override. And these methods are basically uh, methods like after save, before save, after delete, and before delete. Um, and the main use of these types of methods is really just to perform an additional task when something in the table, the row, or is being saved or deleted. So let's say we want to audit the activity, for example, that happens within a table. And uh, when somebody basically changes something within a table, if we generate a before or an after save or before delete, basically what happens is the audit information can be captured before the actual project information is updated or deleted. And uh, so what we want to do now is we want to integrate an after save into our mmom.java uh, class that we had created earlier so that anytime something is modified in our cmom file that we've created, uh, basically anything that gets modified within that window, we're able to send an email with an update to all of our users. So let's go ahead and just take a look at what the Java code looks like. Now again, here's what I grabbed. Um, right here, this information right here can be seen. And what we'll end up doing is we'll end up sending a message here. It says, good day. We want to get our first name from add user ID. We've, we've modified this. Uh, go check our other videos to kind of understand what's going on here. Um, so we say good day, we get our first name, um, go to next line, uh, get name, and then we end up having to say, you know, get name is basically in our mmom folder. We're writing down which window got modified. And we say this window has been updated in the system following the agenda mentioned, and it'll go ahead and get all the agenda that we've been mentioned, bring thank you, and then after save. And then that's our, uh, our subject line in that file. So basically what we want to create is an email file every time we change something. Um, so let me show you where this is going to be at. It's on page 131. Again, this is the cookbook, Dempier 3.6. I'm going to go ahead and copy all this information in. It's a lot of information. And then basically post it in there. So uh, what we want to do then, let's go ahead and open up a Dempier through Eclipse. And I'll show you how to do that real quickly. So if we go to run configurations, we want to do right in here, click that, click new, and create a Dempier. All right, if you haven't already. Do that, you can right click and hit new. So basically we want to create something, name it a Dempier. Our project is a Dempier underscore 360. Our main class is going to be org.compier.adempier. And our arguments, no program arguments, but our VM arguments are going to be our D property file, which is again where you find your dempier.properties uh, file, and then your dempier home where you launch a dempier from. For me, it's C a dempier as well as for this. And then we can just go ahead and hit run. And it'll automatically run a Dempier. So let's go ahead and just log into our garden admin administrator. Our menu. Go to our meeting in minutes. And what we want to basically have this do is once we've run this, I'm sorry, after you've run this, you've right clicked and you've saved, make sure you save this MMOM after you run this. Go ahead and run your compiler as well. So compile this by running save as ant build. Once that's all been done, that'll basically be compiled. One little tidbit, make sure you don't forget that, otherwise this won't work. All right, so here I've already generated a meeting of minutes. It says sending email. So I've got the name active I've got the information here I got the chairperson I've got the agenda written in here 
And I've also got all the participants. All right, my participants are right here. And basically what I can do now, whatever I change in here, if I do change something and I hit save, it'll automatically generate an email. So let me go ahead and pause it and I'll show you the email that gets generated. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go to, now again, what we wanna create, again, real quickly before we get into this too much, we end up wanting to generate is, so we can go to system, so let's go ahead and just type in here, user, security user right here. And you generate multiple users here. So for me here, let's go ahead and do this. This is myself. What you want to do is create your name, search key, don't really need to. The minimum that you have to do, end up doing is, this is the email that will be sent, the email address that you want to send it to. So here's where you want to put the email address you want to send it to. This password is really unnecessary to send this email just for the purpose of sending an email. And then you're going to go down, and this is the internal part right here. So you're going to send an email from this user ID, and here's my email password. All right. So basically, that's what I want to generate because every time I'm going to add myself as a user for this meeting of minutes right here, then it'll send an email to me. So if, whenever I uh, save something, let's go ahead and show you the email that it sends right there. Perfect. So it says, good day, Garden Admin gives me the name of the meeting of minutes, which was an Eclipse email test. It's an update in the system, and here is the agenda that we had done. So basically we had created this and thanks and it used me after save. So all of these are basically done so you're able to use Eclipse to generate an email through a Dempier. Anytime something has changed in a Dempier, you can change that. Now we can do this to before save, before delete, and after delete. So thank you for watching. Um, and that is how to send an email through Eclipse in a Dempier. Thank you.